Hello, my name is Brandon, and I've officially hit my six month mark over here at AWS. And currently as a cloud support engineer, I kind of want to explain to you kind of how I went from zero experience to now six months of experience. To tell you a little bit about my journey and how I got from zero to hero over here at AWS, it all goes back to my university. I'm not sponsored by Western Governors University, but if you go to this university, I would say that is very well respected. A lot of people know in the IT industry that you should go for Western Governors University. Why? Because first of all, it's not too expensive if you were to compare, um, for example, I live in Houston. So University of Houston compared to Western Governors University, cheaper option is Western Governors University. And on top of that, you're able to grow and progress in your career. When you're taking these classes, you get to do it at your own pace. So if you're extremely fast, I've seen people who finished uh, their four year degree in about one or two years, which is crazy to me, but they can do it, right? Not only that, but they give you professional certific certifications. When you take a look at all of their programs and for me, I took the bachelor's uh, network operations and security path where the biggest certification to me at least was the Cisco CCNA. That, that took me at least two or three months to study in order to finally pass that certification. It was a long, hard journey, but the moment you pass it, it just relieves so much weight from you. That class on top of all your other certifications classes combined and by the time you're done with Western Governors University, you're out with from zero certifications to now six, seven certifications. And these are IT professional certifications that are well respected by a lot of companies out there. Um, so if you ever get the chance to go to WGU, Western Governors University, I would highly recommend it. So going to tie this all back to my story, right? I was working full time uh, as a an IT help desk guy while also doing school full time. So I kind of just went back and forth. So after I was done with work, I would go to school um, all online. I'd study at my own pace, watching videos, reading textbooks. Um, if I needed to do labs, I would do those as well. And that was my process Monday to Friday, every single day. Weekends, I would either play games or I would not put a lot of my time and effort into school. But then there are other days where I actually did spend almost my entire day just studying. So it really depends, right? That's the nice perk of being at WGU simply because you're able to kind of do everything at your own pace, right? So if you know you're busy on Monday, for example, you can make up for that on Tuesday, right? If you spend four hours a day studying, just as, as an example, you can spend eight hours studying on Tuesday. And that's the really nice part about Western Governors University. You don't have to take any homeworks. There are quizzes, but they're optional. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you take the final test, which either allows you to pass or fail. If you pass, great, you get to move on to the next course, rinse and repeat. And you can do this for as many classes as you want. So if you're crazy fast, you could technically finish your whole entire four year degree in one semester, but to each their own, right? So once I graduated, I had all these certifications and I remember applying to a lot of jobs. And this was during the time when uh, I hit my one year mark at my IT help desk position, right? And I wanted to make sure that, you know, I was gonna land another, either a higher tier help desk job, or I would land as a junior network engineer or just a junior level position for either being a system admin or a network engineer, one or the other, it doesn't matter. And so one day I decided to say, you know what? I see this position at Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and try and apply for it. So I applied. And after a whole two, three months of just interviewing, I was finally able to get the offer, which I couldn't believe it myself. When I got the offer, I thought it was like a fish email, a Fisher email where I got scanned and I'm just getting that email to get that email. But then as I looked at it, it looked more and more legitimate. I'm like, no way, I, I landed a job at Amazon, right? So 
it's crazy to me how I had zero experience in the cloud because I didn't really know what AWS was back then. I, I knew that the cloud was a thing, but I didn't really pay much attention to how it works and all that stuff. So going into my journey, I would say that if you would like to get your foot in the door, I didn't have any internship experience at Amazon. Some, some individuals did. I was not the individual that got an internship. I just got the cloud support associate position and that was that. So if you're trying, if you're trying to apply to Amazon, to AWS, and you want to get your foot in the door, I would highly recommend getting their cloud practitioner certification. Um, I forgot to mention that previously, but that was one of my other certifications that I got at WGU. And this certification basically gives you a over a very simplified example or a simple definition of all the services within AWS. It will tell you, here's what the service is, here's what it does. It almost kind of pre prepares you for a solutions architect because um, as a solutions architect, you, you do need to know the services and what they do. So currently for me, I am trying to practice for another certification. And um, once I move on to a new certification, hopefully I can provide another video so you can get a understanding of my journey with that certification, how long it took, what I did to study for it and all that good stuff. So other than that, working at Amazon has been probably the coolest thing ever for me. Um, I, I like the fact that I get to work from home and there's a lot of flexibility with that, right? Where not a lot of other companies would offer that. And this is just one of the perks of working at Amazon. Um, and no, we don't get Prime for free. <laughs> That's been asked very many 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 times by other people but no we don't get prime for free if you're trying to work for amazon 100 percent apply for it and even if they say no that just means for today for right now no that doesn't stop you from applying again in the future and i would just keep telling you to keep pushing keep applying and let them know that you're interested so with that being said um that's all i have for this video today Thank you so much for watching. And if you ever want me to make more videos, just feel free to let me know. Subscribe, comment, like, whatever people say on YouTube. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll make more videos if you, know, if you have a question for me or if you want to know more about something, I'll be happy to make a video. So thank you for watching.